I am a metahuman, the next generation of digital human powered by Unreal Engine. Metahumans are high fidelity digital characters created by you, the user, on our new content creation platform, Metahuman Creator. I am fully rigged, ready for animation and motion capture, allowing you to work in context. With everything running live in Unreal Engine, my motion works seamlessly. Hi everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can turn this character into Metahuman. As you can see, this is not a Metahuman topology and there's no ears. Also, there is a different topology on the body and the head. So, first thing first, we need to wrap this character to our genetics Metahuman files. So, let's jump to Maya and open Metapipe. Inside Metapipe, just go to genetics workflow. This workflow is DNA calibration workflow. So as you can see, there's no Metahuman for Maya plugin on top. So this is not a 5.6 workflow. This is just old Quixel bridge DNA calibration workflow. If you don't know anything about DNA calibration or Quixel bridge, just watch Metapipe 3 origins playlists and you will understand how we can set up Quixel bridge Metahuman. Inside genetics workflow, you will see a group name wrap. Open this up and just unhide our meshes, isolate them, and as you can see, we have head and body mesh. And as you can see, this is a special mesh that has open mouth and halfly closed eyes. This is the base mesh that we need to wrap. So just export this and open a wrap tool or you can use ZBrush as well. Sometimes I use ZBrush to wrap my characters. So this is Metahuman topology and I wrap this to my character. So this is Metahuman topology and this is wrapped mesh. This is our gene file. If you want to learn more about how to set up a gene file, this is the original tutorial. This is full guide, step by step, how you can create a gene file inside Metapipe 3. The video is called Custom Topology Preparation for Metahumans Detailed Guide MP Genetics. So this is our gene file. Also, this is body mesh. This is Metahuman topology. And this is our topology, custom topology. And then just export them to Maya, we can hide this and import them to Maya. So I imported them to Maya and let's assign a shader to see it better. And then just go to gene transfer settings and then give a name. I will call it baby dragon and it is mesh type is full and final topology is custom topology and click on update. Okay, it's done. So let's delete them. And now we can import our meshes. Right now, all I need to do is select our body mesh, only body mesh, and go to gene transfer button and click on gene transfer. And now we have Metahuman topology meshes. Perfect. We can also use them inside Metahuman 5.6 workflow because it is Metahuman topology. After this, just select your meshes, including eyes, head, body, and click on Joint Transform while the settings save DNA on, build body on, and rest of it off. Click on Joint Transform. So here is our character, and let's test joints. And this is very exaggerated character, so you may need to do an additional skin mate painting. It looks like this. Like this.
this is the facial poses and right now you can export your blend shapes by clicking on this blend shape export button let's click on blend shape export and after edit your blend shapes you can just create a modified folder and put all of these blend shapes to the modified folder so as you can see these are all edited shapes and then go back and click on blend shape edit auto mode from manual mode to auto mode and go back and click on blend shape edit and right now we have edited blend shapes as you can see one last thing we have horns we need to attach the horns as well so just click on this and then click on connect rig to attach it to the head joint and choose head and again head joint and right now it should move with the head and it is working finally click on material assign to assign materials to each object and click on export settings make sure head LOD zero mesh unchecked because this is custom topology not metahuman topology and uncheck the other meshes that you don't use I don't use teeth, saliva, eye shell, eyelashes, eye edge in cartilage and also I don't use combined mesh and flip flops and go back and click on export and it is exporting the scene you can see this kind of warnings it's not important and just go back to YouTube and just watch this updated Unreal Engine setup tutorial to set up inside Unreal Engine this is DNA calibration workflow so this is working inside 5.5 and below but you can migrate the scene to 5.6 so that you can work inside 5.6 as well and that's it good luck with your materials and bye